Hey everybody, it's Paula here from the XR Club and welcome to another week's XR Curation Corner. In this video, I share with you amazing XL or XL related content that I found on the web throughout the week. Not only am I gonna share amazing content with you this week, but I'm also gonna share some events that are coming up because World Spreadsheet Celebration Day is on the 17th of October, but we'll talk about that more later on in the video. Now, all of the content that I'm gonna to share today, you will find a link below the video, so you can head over and you can check out the content. I will also be sharing some bat tips, some brave rewards with some of the content creators that I can share them with. So if you want to know how to pick up your brave rewards, you'll also find a video below on that. So what are we going to look at this week? Well, the first piece of content that I have for you is a video from Excel is Fun, from Mike in Excel is Fun. And it's titled Action Packed X Lookup Video. Now this really, really is an action packed video. So what Mike goes through is a three way lookup, a cell reference lookup, and then there's also some conditional formatting in, in here. Now, although it is an X lookup video, there's also a solution given in this video to how you can achieve the same results without X lookup. And the conditional formatting trick is really, really neat. Now, the main trick in this though that I found to be of useful is the use of the colon when joining these arrays together in your X lookup. But to understand what I mean, you're really going to have to hop over and take a look at the video. Like I said, it is an awesome video. I'm just gonna send quickly some bat tips over. So I've just sent some bat tips. So Mike, you can pick them up if, you're, if you sign up as a brave creator. Now the next piece of content that I'm gonna share with you is not just one piece of content, it's a whole series of content. Now I found the most recent video on YouTube and it was the most recent video that drew me back to this whole series and it's the whole series that I want to share. So this is daveondata.com and it is SQL for XL users. Now the entire series, at the moment, there are 21 actual articles available. And if you hop over to his YouTube channel, there is, I think, there's quite a lot of videos, but they're not all available yet that are available in the actual articles. Now these are, this is SQL. So for those that are wanting to learn SQL that have an Excel knowledge, it's gonna take your Excel knowledge to an SQL knowledge. As Dave kind of explains in the introduction video, Excel basically works on tables and SQL also works on tables. So there's a knowledge that Excel users already have that they can apply when learning SQL. So if that's something that you are interested in, do hop over and take a look at both the blog and the videos as well. So that is a great resource. You'll find a link below the video. Now we covered X lookup in the first piece of content that I shared with you. And there was a solution if you don't have X lookup of how to go about it. But I'm also going to share some content with you on VLOOKUP. Now this is an article and it is a massively long article that's on Erin and Excel. It's by Sohal and it's the ultimate guide to VLOOKUP, the 2020 edition. Now, if you're having problems understanding VLOOKUP or if you want a deeper understanding of VLOOKUP, this is the article to go to. This is a massive article. So it goes through basically the basics of using VLOOKUP um, it then goes through some examples of how to use it. After this, then it goes through errors that you may find looking up across different worksheets, how to troubleshoot. And then it goes through some much more advanced examples 
of using VLOOKUP. It talks about what to do when there are duplicates. Just everything that you would need to know. As you can see, I'm still scrolling on this article. So if you want to learn more about VLOOKUP, if you want to challenge your knowledge of VLOOKUP, I would go ahead and have a look at this article by Sohal on Earn and Excel. It's the ultimate guide to VLOOKUP, the 2020 edition. The next article that I am going to share with you is an article by Ben Stockton and it is how to add leading zeros to cells in Excel. Now this is on groovypost.com and this is a great little article that shows that as I've said many times there are multiple ways to do things in Excel. And this solves a problem of how you can add leading zeros to Excel by using formatting and by using the text function. So it goes through different options of how you can easily add leading zeros to your numbers in your spreadsheets. And adding leading zeros is often a problem that if you add in a number that starts with zero, zero, like a phone number or something, and then it drops the zero, zero as the rest of the number goes in. So there are often times that people are going to need leading zeros in Excel. Now, finally, I am going to get onto some events. And these events are based on the World Spreadsheet Day. Now, the World Spreadsheet Day is the 17th of October. And it celebrates that the first spreadsheet was the 17th of October 1979. And this is just a massive celebration that's happening. Now, Microsoft themselves are celebrating World, World Spreadsheet Day with a day of data. Now, for me, this is really, really exciting and I'm already going to get my kids involved and you can too. You'll find this particular article on the Tech Community website. So it's the official Microsoft Tech Community website. And World, for World Spreadsheet Day and for the Day of Data, Microsoft have teamed up with NASA because NASA are also celebrating 20 years of people living in space. And for this, they've made a whole suite of data available for people to analyze. Now, there is spreadsheets here that you can go into, that you can download. I've looked at them. There's great little lessons in here for the older kids. There is also a link to the day of data discussion, which I would suggest that you follow because there is going to be some challenges set. And these challenges have been set by Mr. Excel himself. Now, the data that's going to be made available, you will be asked some questions on the data. You can post your answers. There'll be win winners for best visualizations. So do keep an eye on the website for that. There's also an event today where you can sign up online and you can actually meet with some or with some um, astronauts and some engineers from NASA. And I'm gonna have my kids doing that later on today. So do hop over and check out the tech community post on this. All the links are in this post that you'll need and I'll drop a link below this video so you can hop over. Now, in addition to all of this happening for World Spreadsheet Day, today, later on, Irish time, I think is 10 o'clock tonight. It is 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. EDT time. And it is a Spreadsheet Day celebration that is being hosted by Celia on the Microsoft Excel Toronto meetup. So this has some really awesome names in the lineup for this evening. There's going to be Bill Jelling, Rob Coyley. There is Dave Monroe. There is Dan. Dave Monroe is from the Microsoft team himself. Um, it's, it's an online meetup. Do check it out. Hop over, sign up. I will drop a link below the video. I hope to attend myself. So that's it for this week's content and what I have to share with you. I hope you all enjoy World Spreadsheet Day on the 17th of October. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I do hope that you will do so now and hit that notifications button so you don't miss any more of my videos. I hope that you'll also give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching. Until next week, goodbye now.